in case you're just joining us, I'm sitting here right now with your Democratic candidate for state attorney, Catherine Vogel. Catherine, explain to me and the viewers what exactly the job of state attorney is. The state attorney is your elected official who is responsible for the prosecution of all cases within Monroe County. For example, if, some, if the police arrest someone for any crime, whether it's uh, driving under the influence or murder or everything in between, then it's the prosecutor's, it's the state attorney's responsibility to review the case, determine whether or not there's sufficient evidence, and to prosecute it. Furthermore, the um, state attorney is also responsible for doing uh, certain investigations if they choose to. So you can see it's a very powerful and very important job. Mm -hmm. Now, Catherine, I mentioned earlier in the show how you have 27 years of experience. Yes. I, I talked about some of your experience. Who would you say, personally, has had the most influence over you as an attorney, and, and why have they had the most influence? Well, you know, when I was first hired, I was hired by Janet Reno, and I think that she is the person who's had the most um, influence over me. When I was hired by her, she told me that the one thing that the state attorney must always do is always do the right thing and be guided by that principle. And we do have certain ethical responsibilities as prosecutors. And I've taken that to heart. And the entire time, the 27 years that I've spent being a prosecutor, I can assure you that that has been my guiding principle. Sometimes people are accused of crimes, and it turns out that they're not guilty. The responsibility of the state attorney at that point is to drop the charges because that's the right thing to do. You don't seek, you don't prosecute people and just to win the case. It's a kind of lawyer that uh, you're, the thing that you're searching is searching for the truth and searching for justice. And that's what I learned, I believe, from, from Ms. Reno. Okay. Now, Catherine, if you were to be elected our state attorney, what would be the first thing that you want to do? Well, I, I, when I ran on the primary, I, I mentioned that uh, there were some problems with speaking to the press. So I have to set uh, a policy with the state attorney's office that we will always follow the National District Attorney's Association uh, recommendations for speaking and dealing with the press. Another thing that has to be done is there's been an incredible backlog of cases with the prior administration. The first thing that I will do when I get in as state attorney is to review the backlog of cases and uh, get rid of those cases or, or get really busy on prosecuting the cases that have stacked up over the past four years. Mm -hmm. So that's that's, it's it's going to be a big job, mm -hmm. but, but uh, I'm ready to do it. All right. So that's the number one thing. What would you say, Catherine, is probably the primary difference between you and your candidate? You mean my opponent? Your opponent, excuse me. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> I, I'd say uh, leadership style. I have, um, I have a different leadership style. I have a lot of experience uh, that I'm going to bring to leadership. I want to... Uh, forge good uh, relationships with the police department and the sheriff's office. I believe that I'm a more hands-on individual. I have taught at the University of Florida Law School. I've taught young prosecutors and public defenders uh, trial skills, so I bring that to the table. Mm -hmm. All right, Catherine, and now another question for you. Oh, okay. Uh, what would be the one thing that you would want to be remembered for if you were our state attorney? Well, you know, I think that my love of Monroe County is something that I, I want to come out of, of my candidacy. I want to be known as the, uh, the prosecutor that uh, really was the fairest. I mean, I think fairness is, is, the, is the guiding principle. You know, during my uh, candidacy, I've gone door to door in Key West and in Marathon and in the Upper Keys and in Isla Morada, all throughout Monroe County. And I can tell you that the people that I've met, they just want somebody who's tough, but they also want somebody that's fair. Somebody that's going to prosecute people not based upon who they are. And if I leave this office after my term is up uh, and people say, you know what, 
she was always really fair. I think that that's the legacy that I want to leave behind. That's a good legacy to leave behind. Well, thank you. <laughs> Catherine, I thank you for being on the show this morning. And tell our viewers when they need to get out and vote, Catherine. Well, November the 6th is voting day, but you can vote early. You can start voting early on October the 27th, which is, uh, you know, that we now have, I believe there's, there's going to be several days where we have, uh, you can vote from 7 to 7 starting on October 27th. So get out and vote early, or you can call the uh, uh, supervisor of elections and request an absentee ballot and vote by mail. Okay, and Catherine, you just have three weeks left to go, that's all. So. Oh my goodness. I, <laughs> it's been a yeah. long road, right? It has <laughs> been a long road, but you know, it's been a wonderful experience because um, during my campaign, I've met so many wonderful people. I've had experience of meeting you and, and going door to door and meeting many people in, in not only Key West, but Marathon and Isla Morada and, and Key Largo, and I've, I've had a wonderful time. Wonderful. Well, thank you for being on the show, Catherine. Thank you. I'm going to take a quick break. I'll be right back. Stay with me.